guys, I'm Michelle Taylor from veganbreak.com and I'm here today with Delcy from Farm Sanctuary. She's the director of Legal Campaigns and she wants to tell you a little bit about um, kind of the myths behind organic and free range and a lot of the labeling that's going on. They're working on a campaign to kind of um, break the myths. So do you want to talk a little bit about what you're doing? Sure. Yeah, so Farm Sanctuary has a new campaign. It's called The Truth Behind Labels and it is based on a report that we recently published. It's a 71-page comprehensive report that goes through all of the different so-called humane labeling claims that you see on packaging. And it's um, extremely lengthy. It's available on our website, but in addition to that, we have a summary document that's available, as well as a brochure called The Truth Behind Humane Meat, Milk, and Eggs. And basically what we try to do with that report is to expose the truth behind these claims because many of them, most of them in fact, are not regulated by the government at all or if so very little and they lead consumers to believe that the animals are treated much better than they are so we want consumers to really know the cruelty that's involved in all animal agriculture whether it's called humane or not. Mm -hmm. um, and I know I do a lot of vegan outreach and a lot of leafleting and that's a big response that I get from people, oh no I don't need that, I don't need to go vegan, I already am doing my part by choosing organic meat or choosing free range meat. Um, do you want to talk, speak about some of the specific examples of the problems with, for example, free range meat? Sure. Um, so free range meat, um, if the meat is also certified as organic, um, then it's also deemed free range, but the organic regulations, what it requires um, in terms of animal welfare is access to the outdoors. It sounds pretty good. In reality, it doesn't play out. Um, basically, access to the outdoors is very, very vaguely defined, and um, there's no limit on the size of the herd of animals, so they can be very crowded. There can be very few openings to the outdoors, they may not be open all the time. The outdoors that is accessed may be a barren dirt lot that's absolutely unappealing to the animals. And then it doesn't go to any of the mutilations that animals go through, whether it's being de-beaked if you're a hen, being tail docked if you're a cow, all of this without anesthetics. And then of course, um, the animals are slaughtered and there are issues with that. Most animals that are slaughtered are not protected by the Humane Slaughter Act. Birds are not protected. They're the vast majority of, birds, of animals killed. They're not covered at all. Even those that are covered, the USDA's own Inspector General has repeatedly criticized the agency for not adequately enforcing that law. And I know I've seen on the Farm Sanctuary website they have some imagery about um, of like the free range areas, and it just shows like tons, thousands of birds like crammed in these sheds. It doesn't even give them any extra space, really. It just like the cages are removed, which is you know a little tiny step up, but a lot of the cruelty, the majority of the cruelty, is still there. Yeah, so. you see the same crowding effects basically because you don't have desirable spaces for the animals to go outside. You have a huge flock in a warehouse, so they're basically in the same small spaces having the same welfare implications of crowding in crates. So we think it's really important to spread awareness about this because a lot of people um, are rightly trying to reduce their suffering, um, their impact on cruelty or their contribution to cruelty and that's fantastic and it's definitely something we are encouraging but definitely make sure you're educated about what the real reality of the labeling is. Um, if people want to find out more, is there a site that they can go to? They can or? go to farmsanctuary.org um, and from there you can link to information about our Truth Behind Labels campaign. And if people want to spread that information to others, I'm sure they can link to that site can they order um, do you guys have leaflets from yes absolutely we have the summary document of the comprehensive report that people can order and then we also have the truth behind humane brochures which are a little shorter and simple so we can send folks both of those and that not only works well if you're out on the streets leafleting but also even if you're like in airports and you drop them around there um, just anywhere where the public goes a lot local libraries they usually have a little area where you can put um, different informational pamphlets so definitely check out farmsanctuary.org and um, educate yourself as much as you can about the labeling. And thank you so much, Delcy. Thank you. And we will see you guys again later. Bye.